lot of people keep asking, uh, how do I use my uh, camera equipment? What, what mounts am I using? Um, how did I get that angle? And things like that. So I'm going to quickly walk you guys through the different cameras, the different angles, and different possibilities that you can use. And if you're out on your boat, any boat for that matter, it doesn't have to be a laser, it can be a sunfish, or 20, whatever. Um, but just to give you guys some good ideas, because it's taken me about a year or two to kind of figure this out. Um, let's get started. Okay, so one of my favorite mounts, the one I originally started using when I first started getting back into sailing and racing was this guy. This is just by far one of the best angles you can get, which is this, right? Which is the front of the boat. You can see everything that they're doing. Um, you can get a good idea of how far you're hiking out. Every time you tack, you're not worried about um, not getting a camera angle, as you'll see uh, in the next camera mounts. Um, you're only good at one angle, really, whereas this is, you're good for all angles. What's also really good about this mount is it's multi-directional. So at any point, you can just turn it. And so what I'll do is I'll get basically five minutes to 10 minutes of, of race time facing forward, and then I'll go ahead and flip it to the side for five minutes, and then I'll flip it to the side. Obviously, you have to come all the way up to the front of the boat to do it, which is easily doable. Uh, you just have to head to wind and, and make sure you're not gonna capsize, but all in all, one of my favorite mounts. My second favorite mount is gonna be this guy, the boom mount. Um, and what's so great about the boom mount, I think is you don't have this big mast in your way when you're recording like you do in the front with the first one. So what's great about this is I'll usually put kind of, uh, one of these guys on here and this will go in here like so. And then you're able to multi use a multi-directional swivel again to capture any angle. Um, but I, like I was saying before, you're not able to capture um, you know, the, the every angle all the time. You're only gonna get port, right, for, for that time unless you move it. And you're only gonna get a starboard tack camera angle unless you move it. So great angle, different kind of angle here. Same thing, I would put one of these kind of swivel mounts on here. Um, and that way you can actually do kind of anything you want. Um, but what's really nice about the, uh, this one is that again, it's out in front. You're not, nothing's blocking it. The problem is, is you'll, you'll see that depending on again, which side you rig your Cunningham on, this gets caught, right? So you're gonna have to either turn this out here, but then when this boom swings out on a downwind, then you get the same kind of thing. And so it, it just depends. You really gotta try it out. And, and what's great about it, it's not the end of the world. Once you get out here and it's getting caught, it's just to come up here, pop it off, readjust it, pop it back on, right? So try out new things, kind of figure out what works best for you. Um, the other one I, I really, really like is taking this same exact mount that we used on the mast and on the boom, and actually putting this all the way at the end of the boom. What I love, love, love about this spot is that you, you get some of the best angles from this direction out on the boom. Um, and we'll show you some of that footage, but as you swing out, as you go on reaches, things like that, you can see the entire boat. One of my other favorite mounts is this guy. It goes to the top. This is an old aluminum mast. Um, I don't use it anymore, so I thought it would be a good guinea pig. Basically, I popped off this top, then I screwed in this guy from underneath with a bolt. Um, just like as you normally would, you have a little bolt and screw it on on the top of a tripod. Um, and this works really well. Really, really cool option if you're thinking about what to use. This is from Imperial Sailing, just a fantastic company. Um, I believe they basically cnc this uh, design. It's all, all uh, you know, proprietary. They, they made this from scratch and designed it. Very, very cool. Love, love to see this and love to spread, um, you know, great entrepreneurial spirit out. So guys, if you're looking for the best camera mount on the boat possible, this is it. Um, now, a few pros and cons. Pros, number one, by far uh, the best camera angle you're gonna get. What's so nice about this angle, as you can see, is you're right at the back of the boat. You get to see everything. What's really cool too is if, if you change the different mounts, you're gonna be able to utilize different heights, um, come out, to, um, go out to the right, things like that, um, but very cool. I absolutely love this mount, it's one of my favorites. All right, so the only con to this, I would say, is actually when you go to get in the water and you go to put your rudder in, you've got to be very careful. You don't ding uh, kind of the corners of the 
mount. So this has actually got to slide back in under here, flop this rope up. I'll just show you kind of as a use case scenario as if we were getting in, it'd have to go back this way and then down in. Um, so I've done it, but it's it's hard to do on a beach. Some of the other mounts I use right here, you guys are um, one of my favorites. Also, it's gonna be a chest mount. So it's gonna be a chest mount. Here, the only problem with this thing is sometimes you'll get the main sheet caught on this little guy right here. So if I'm racing or, you know, I'm in a regatta, I don't wear this just because I, I can't risk getting that caught. Um, so really cool. The other one I really, really like too is gonna be the head mount, um, also from GoPro. But this is great, this goes right over top. You need to put it over your hat or under your hat um, if, if you're really committed. Um, so very, very cool. You get some really good, you know, point of view angles with this so people feel like they're in the boat and sailing as you. One thing that is an absolute must, by the way, is to have all these mounts. Um, so you, you have options, right? So you got a lot of these, you have a lot of these, um, and don't ever use these. Uh, quick example here, I used one on the back of my boat when I first started sailing, thinking this is a good idea. Look, you can still see the mark where I had it, but it sat back like this. Um, true story, came around the windward Marn came around the, and as we were going around the downwind mark, uh, he clipped my stern, came across the stern and just went boop, knocked it right off and went down into Key Biscayne Bay. So all I could, uh, you know, I wasn't too bummed about the GoPro itself because it was an older GoPro, but the footage was amazing that day and I lost all the footage. So learn your lesson from me. Don't use these. All right, and keep in mind guys, you're only allowed one camera on board. Uh, when you're racing in events. Uh, last time I checked the rules, so that may have been amended or changed since then, but um, you're only allowed one. I had to choose one, I would probably pick my deck mount. Um, and if I had to choose number two, I would probably pick this guy right here, only because this one and the deck mount are the ones that are least likely to get caught on anything when I'm racing. Um, after that, I'd probably do the head mount for perspective. It's got the best point of view. Um, and then by far, this guy on the back, 